What's going on, beautiful people? Welcome back for another quick moment of encouragement. All right, if you missed yesterday's video, please go back and watch it. Remember, every Monday through Friday, 7 a.m., we release a new video to encourage you, okay? Let's check out today's video or today's post. It says, once a man was asked, what did you gain by regularly praying to God? The man replied, nothing. But let me tell you what I lost. Anger, ego, greed, depression, insecurity, and fear of death. Sometimes the answer to our prayers is not gaining, but losing, which ultimately is the gain. All right. Hmm. Interesting. Let's look at this together. Okay. This is the verse that I chose to connect with this Hebrews 4 and 16, the New Living Translation. It says, so let us come boldly to the throne of our gracious God. There we will receive his mercy and we will find grace to help us when we need it most. When we need it most. Now think, look back at it now. What did you gain? And the man says, I lost a lot. But look at what he's lost. He's lost the things that is holding us back. He lost the things that, that keeps us from living our best Christian lives. Sometimes our prayers shouldn't be, Lord, give me, give me, give me. But Lord, strengthen me to endure. Lord, hold my tongue. Lord, give me the strength to, to stand up strong and stand up tall in this tough situation. Most of the time we're praying for stuff or praying for more in our lives when we need to be praying things out of our lives. All right. Prayer is powerful. There's something that has been said and I love it. I'll never, I'll never not be able to hear this prayer. And I think my pastor said this. He said, prayer can do anything that God can do and God can do anything. All right. So your prayers, release your prayers over the, the deficiencies in your life. Release your prayers over the weaknesses, over the, the things that is keeping you from standing as tall as you can as a man or a woman of God. Pray over your depression. Pray over your anger. I created a video years ago called The Christian's Guide to Anger Management. It's probably one of my most watched videos. I get emails nearly daily from people all over the world expressing to me how much their anger is robbing them at home. Their anger is keeping them from living their best life. Their anger is ruining their family. And they want God to help them with this. And I always respond the same way. The fact that you are acknowledging your anger and that you want God to help you is a great first step. Now you need to start praying every time you feel anger mount up. Because remember, there's nothing wrong with anger. Anger is a natural emotion. But a lot of us can't process our anger, or at least we can't do it alone. So when I feel the anger, I feel depressed. I feel insecure. I feel greed. I pray. And I pray. I ask God to show me how to not let these things remain in my life. I pray that I will lose these things. And that is the greatest gain ever. The release of those things, the release of those burdens will allow you to fly high and, and be and soar like the Lord wants you to soar. No longer attached to the ground when he wants you to soar. All right. So I, I would, I would persuade you. If I had any persuasive power, I would persuade you that anytime you feel something that you don't like in your life, pray over it. Ask God to strengthen you to endure it if that's what he wants, or ask God to remove it if it's something that shouldn't be there. And those are the kind of prayers that God longs to answer. We've been using up all our prayer time trying to get more stuff when the stuff that we really need is strength it's integrity it's might it's power it's patience pray and ask for those things and watch god move in your life and watch him release you from some things that used to have you bound all right please i pray 
that you will share this video with someone else. Join me on this journey. Help me reach as many people as possible. And the way you do that is that you like the videos, you subscribe to the channel, and you share from time to time. When, when the message hits your heart, that's the sign to you to share it with someone else, okay? Encourage someone else. Share it on your social media. Share it in your friend groups. Just encourage at least one or two people each day when the verses or the or that that little video encourages you. All right? Watch it, share it, and live it. Now let's get busy living the life. God bless you.